thanks for coming, Mark Kukro, Adrian Ike. Thank you for coming to the White Belt Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu private lesson. And uh, today's lesson is on mount, uh, arm bars from the mount. So if you could lay down. Okay, turn this way. Now, a couple things to consider is really this private lesson is geared towards uh, beginners, white belts, and I'm going to share some of the things that help the arm bar become, be more successful and also some of the common mistakes, ones I made as well too, okay? So when you're in the mount, one of the first things to consider is I need him to push. When his arms are close to his body, it's good for him. When his arms are away from his body, it's better for me. So if I am too far down like this, it's going to be difficult for him to push up. If I have enough space for him to push, it's going to tempt him to push. Now, if you ever lift weights, like a, a barbell, and if you lift, just push. It's up, it's easy. My weight is like, say, 50 pounds on this half, 50 pounds on that side. So what I want to do when he pushes is turn my body, twist it, and put more weight on one side and turn at the same time. Now, whatever hand, when he pushes, goes on top, that's the direction my leg goes. So he's going to push, and I'm going to move like he's lifting me. Enough resistance that he really feels like he's going to push me off. My hands go right here, and I spin just like this. Now, one of the key things is to make sure that you have no space here. If he can get his elbow to the floor, he's going to, and then I lose the arm bar. So when we're in this position, here, I'm moving, my hands come up, I spin, and I go just like this. Now, I put weight towards his feet just a little bit, and I put my leg over, and then I, then I um, get the arm. Okay, now, when we push, and I turn, you'll see a lot of people grab down here. Bend your arm. This is going to be really difficult to get the arm bar. Okay. So, probably the most common mistake is leaving too much space here. The second one would be grabbing the arm very low. Okay. So, when I'm here, he can bend his arm. If I grab up higher, bend your arm. It doesn't matter. Now, I just get the arm bar, pinch my knees, and bridge. Okay? So again, I have weight here, move, he pushes, spin, and I get the arm. Just like this. I grab high, and I lean back just a little bit. Now, a couple things. I don't really want him to look at me. It's ideal if his head is looking away, because it's harder to turn in. Okay? I can cross my feet. You don't really have to in the beginning. Really focus on getting your knees tight, okay? And your coach will explain why later. But I want my knees tight. I want my, to, my body close to his body. I want to scoop and pinch and have this here. Now this is very, the only way he can go is that way. I want to grab up here, pinch, and uh, something I recommend to do when you start is to put your face as close to the hand as possible. Grab pinch, and you shouldn't even hit the ground. If there's too much space, he's going to turn in, yeah, and I'm going to lose the arm bar. So if you get the arm, push, and I go here, sometimes you have to scoot forward. Just grab here, scoot forward, and now get the arm high so he can't bend it, and then go. Something else to consider is if I have just the arm, he can go this way and begin a counter, okay? So whenever you sit, pinch, lean back, and you grab his belt, his lapel, his pants, underhook the leg, something to prevent him from spinning this way. Okay? So we're here, and I'm going to move, yes, and I want him to push. How do I get him to push? Well, maybe he knows, okay? So I'm going to go here, I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to bug his neck, and I don't really want his neck. I want his hands to come up to protect his neck. And look, here we go. There's an arm bar. Okay? So, what drill can you do to get better at arm bars? And so, most people start off kind of like the same drills, but a few things to think of. Number one is, you'll see people sit like this, put their heels on the floor, their elbows in, their hands together, and just start moving and turning your knees. And the easier this is, the easier it is for you to move. If you do armbar drills and you have open hands on the floor, you're a lot likely, a lot more likely to injure your fingers and sprain them and bend them and things like that. So make fists, 
Put 100% of your weight on your, on your fists. Put one foot in front, just like this. And switch, and switch, and switch. Now, another one to do is when you're like this and you move, just go like that, not up. Make sure you push forward, and that's going to put pressure on the arm bar itself. So lay down. Pressure on his shoulder so he can't turn in, okay? So I'm here, I'm like this, he pushes. I go here, like this. This is what I want. Push. I do not want to do this. This is the most common thing that people do. So I want to make sure that I'm tight and my leg always has contact with his arm. Grab high, sit back, pinch, and fall this way. And there are just a few simple things. But remember, if you bug the neck, he's going to defend with his arms. Always. Okay, and now there's a lot of different ways to set up. The first thing is we want the person to push. Once they kind of catch on, basically, and I start going, they're going to start defending. Yes. And then I move my body, and I get the arm. So the first thing is the drill that we just did. Here, just hit this. Back, switch my base towards his feet. So if we're over here like this, whoever has, turn towards me, whoever's leg is higher gets the mount. I come in, and I go right back. Turn, push. I'm gonna go this way. Spin. Make sure I have no space, or it's very tight. This way. Back. And try to do it fluid and keep moving. You don't really have to snap it on and make them tap. But when you learn to move fluidly first, the submissions are a lot easier than when you move in a, in a way that's not very fluid and is very forced and you try to get them to submit. So push. One, two, just like this. Push. No space. So give those a try, try the drills, thanks, and uh, let us know. We'd be glad to share more details, more ideas, more concepts, more drills. But thanks for coming to the page. I'm Mark Cookrow, Adrian Ike. Take good care.